Okay, Secrets readers, this is Carlo LaRosso, Editor-in-Chief of Secrets of Home Theater and High Fidelity. And today we are doing our continuing CES coverage where we are blessed with the presence of one Mr. Jim Garrett from <laughs> Harmon, who is at CES right now. And uh, Jim is going to, as graciously allowed us to uh, do this little commando video of, uh, of what... Uh, of what Harmon has new and exciting to show at CES this year. So, Jim, thank you so much for, for accommodating us on this. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Wow, thank you, Carla. Appreciate it. Wow, no worries at all. No worries at all. Um, well, how's how's the show going so far? Is it is it just started or is this this just or does the show start tomorrow? Well, so for us, we're part of Harmon Explore, which is a okay. separate event. Uh, right, right, and right, right. we started this morning. Mm -hmm. So we are halfway through our first day. Oh, and so you guys are fantastic. full bore. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. We're, it's live. We're, we're rolling here. So, oh, uh, fantastic. Very good traffic. Yeah. CES proper does start tomorrow. Right. Uh, but our event is running today uh, through Saturday. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Great. Um, so yeah, let's just let get right get right down to it. What uh, what have you guys? What's new and exciting with with uh, the fine <laughs> folks at Harmon these days? <laughs> well, we brought a lot of things to the show. Of course, uh, everything that we have new that's being introduced here is from the JBL brand. Okay. We tend to focus on more of the two channel products at this show. You know, mm -hmm. we just introduced a bunch of AV and CI products at Cedia a few months right, back. Right. I remember that. And uh, yeah, so we've saved some cool things here for introduction at this event. And so I've got about seven new products, not about exactly seven new products that we're introducing here at the show. Great. I've got one new studio monitor, five mm -hmm. products from our classic series, and then one new product that's a category that we really aren't in the space yet um, mm -hmm. but it's been a pretty exciting new product for us that uh, everybody's mm -hmm. really jazzed about so happy mm -hmm. to talk you through what we have hey let's let's do it man let's 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 go through it awesome so the first thing that we'll start off with is mm -hmm. uh you know our studio monitor range i think you're quite familiar with of course oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. we introduced the 4305p last year at ces Mm -hmm. And that not only was the smallest studio monitor that we have, but it was the first fully powered speaker that right. we had in the range. And that brought a host of connectivity to it, uh, high res uh, streaming audio capability through Chromecast and AirPlay 2, and you had Bluetooth connectivity on it. And of course, you could put it on your network. It's a Maroon endpoint. And mm -hmm. you've got a whole host of wired connections, of course, with it. We have our XLR TRS quarter inch input. So if you wanted to use it as maybe like a, a pro style production piece you could mm -hmm. you know the compact form factor made it work well in that environment we knew during the pandemic a lot of people were going to create yeah. content at home anyway so mm -hmm. basically what we're, we've done uh with that 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 speaker got a lot of buzz around it and we won a number of awards for best wireless speaker mm -hmm. uh, but we've now created a big brother for it so we are introducing oh. here the the 4329p it's nice. making its world debut here today Very and cool. that is everything that we love about the 4305 but it is uh, amped up Unintended. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. So we've got twice the amplifier power in that product. So it goes from 300 watts uh, for the system pair to 600 watts for the system wow. pair. Okay. It's an, eight, it's an eight inch two way rather than the five and a quarter inch. Ah. And so you, yeah, you've got a much larger woofer in it. And then the compression driver is still a one inch, but it's the next step up in our compression driver family. So uh -huh. it's still an okay. annular ring diaphragm, but you go to a much larger motor structure in it. So with the combination of twice the amp power and the larger drivers, there's obviously a lot more acoustic horsepower available to us. Absolutely. So it can play louder. It can play quite a bit deeper. Uh, this thing, you know, as, as great as the 4305 is, people were always shocked about the amount of bass mm -hmm. uh, that we were yeah. able to get out of such a small form factor. This one just takes it to the next level. And I wow. compare it to a pair of floor standards with a subwoofer. Uh, it's that amount of bass. And nice. we can we can do that as a closed loop system, if you will. We know exactly right, right. what amplifier is going on those drivers, and uh, we can tune and optimize all the performance specifically for those drivers in that cabinet, mm -hmm. those electronics. And uh, yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's uh, it's a pretty incredible loudspeaker. And excited for you to be able to hear it. Oh, I can't can't wait to to take a listen to it for sure. How I mean, how much how much bigger are we talking? I mean, obviously, it's hard to tell here, but like I mean, it's like size wise. It's 
It's this big. <laughs> this big. <laughs> this big. Well, so you know, maybe, so let me use the classic series as a reference for you. I think most people know what size those speakers are. Right. So uh, I'd say a 4305P is fairly close to the size of the L52. They're mm-hmm. both, you know, five inch monitors. Well, the 4329P, mm-hmm. uh, maybe it's 5% larger than an L82. So if mm-hmm. that gives okay. you any idea of what it is, Mm-hmm. Um, I would slot that in as a very large bookshelf, um, but really kind of consider it a stand mount. So it actually fits on the same JS80 floor stands. I was gonna, that's what I was going to ask next. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you can use those, those stands with it as well. Wow. That's a Absolutely. nice, that's a really nice form factor. That's, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. And it keeps them down low and you get that, I think it's about a seven degree tilt back on it. So it mm-hmm. gets the high frequencies up to your listening position when you're seated, mm. and, and it works well. It looks great with it. An active speaker that size—that just sounds—that just sounds killer. I really, really like the sound of that. Oh my oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's going to be fun to play with. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. So <laughs> excited about that. It. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so those are slated to go into production here probably in about a month or so. Okay. And uh, be available probably at the end of Q1. No, we're probably sh- the first units to be showing up in the uh, in the shops here. So, nice. and, and active for- and, and the active speakers are getting a, a, a wide uh, a, enough acceptance, obviously, or or else you would be you wouldn't be coming out with a with a larger one. Yeah, for sure, for sure, we're definitely getting uh, acceptance. I think you know, for us as designers and engineers, uh, active loudspeakers are certainly oh, a yeah. better mousetrap, if you will. They're, they're, yeah, but, yeah. There's just there's no way. Yeah, it's just taken. Uh, years <laughs> if not maybe a decade or more generation subtraction <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but i think that uh, there's obviously huge advantages to it you know with a product like that it's the only thing you need so oh yeah you know, there's a whole generation of people that have grown up with you know simple connectivity of bluetooth devices and things like mm-hmm. that and they don't necessarily want the complexity of creating a component audio system and choosing an amplifier and the source players and then where do i put it and i've got a cable it all up together and mm-hmm. then i have to choose a loudspeaker but which one's the right one and so yeah. the simplicity of it is uh contagious i guess is what oh, we're yeah. saying right now it's, people are like that's it that's all i have yeah to it's, cool. a, it's it's a it's a, whole, it's a very elegant design and, and and just the overall concept of it for sure now yeah. silly silly question are are is it available as a, as a single because i mean I could easily see like three of them in the front channel of a home theater, but you're shaking your head. No, no. So <laughs> sold as stereo pairs in much okay. the same way we do at the 4305P. There is a primary and a secondary speaker that come right. in the package. So yeah, all of the yeah. controls and connectivities on the primary speaker and then the secondary one has its own dedicated amplifier in it, but it basically listens to the communication and control commands that come from the primary speaker. Right. Might make sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, oh well, it's yep. worth asking. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Uh, maybe someday, right? So. Yeah, maybe, maybe an active three, you know, front three channels would be you know, right. pretty cool. Something to something to consider. Something to consider. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's great. I just what else we got going on? Keep on rolling. Yeah. So uh, in, in, I'm I'm actually standing outside our demo spaces here. So as we're <laughs> coming down the hall, so we've got a got a mark levinson room and we're showing the ml50 which is the anniversary amplifier that's uh, oh. in a really high-end two-channel system that's here on display that must look uh, sweet oh my gosh oh yeah that's a great system <laughs> uh fortunately uh not only are those expensive they are all sold out but a very exclusive product is absolutely you know we only made 100 pair of those that's right and uh, uh so right. it's something special to have those here uh the next room that we have down we've got one of our jbl synthesis theaters that's here mm. it's a 9.6.4 mm. immersive audio system uh, mm-hmm. it's just pretty amazing um so if i then, see you bouncing up and down on the screen i'll know that a demo is going on <laughs> yeah <Gotcha>. exactly <laughs> yeah yep uh our studio monitor room was the next room down and so that's got the new 4329p that we just talked about mm-hmm. yep. and then uh for the virtual tour we're taking the listeners and viewers on here mm-hmm. uh, the next room that you would have down would be the classic series room uh, and, yes, uh, yes. i've got five new products that are in this room oh uh, yes and yes this is our loudspeaker family of course everyone knows is the L100 uh, mm-hmm. and then the L82 and the L52 that joined it. So we've had those three passive loudspeakers in a range. And then mm-hmm. last year we introduced the L75MS, right. which was the first powered speaker in the classic series family. And it's and the MS is music system. So it's an all, all in one self contained system. Right, right. So that's a cool thing because you get the design aesthetic of the classic series in it, but you get all the cool connectivity. 
it's got HDMI input, so you could use it with you know your television as like a soundbar right. replacement or a step up from that. Mm-hmm. It's got a funo input, uh, some legacy uh, analog digital connectivity on it, and then of course it's got the same wireless uh, high res streaming engine as the yeah. other products have. So you got Chromecast and AirPlay two and Bluetooth capabilities. And it's really so, pretty to boot too. I mean, okay. it was a beautiful looking speaker. Yeah, it's cool, and and we based that kind of off some of. of the, those that are the JBL historians uh, out there mm-hmm. that know products like the Paragon, the Metro, oh, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. and that was what they called uh, built-in acoustics back then with that curved front shape. And that's really mm-hmm. where the shape of the L75 came from mm-hmm. was to match that kind of front curvature. But it also gave us the advantage because it is a stereo device in a relatively uh, small footprint there yeah. that you don't get a lot of stereo separation because the drivers are so close together. But with that curved front baffle, uh, mm-hmm. And that nod back to the built-in acoustics of the, the classic JBL products that gave us a pretty good uh, stereo image out of the product. And then we do have the sound field expansion mode that helps ex- expand it even further with some simulated surrounds so that when you are nice. watching movies with it, your TV, it sounds pretty dang fantastic. So, mm-hmm. so those products are all in the classic room. Mm-hmm. And of course, if you think about traditional passive loudspeakers like that, they need electronics to go with them. So uh, mm-hmm. we've got you covered with that now. I've got four new mm-hmm. products uh, in the JBR Classic Series electronics line that ah, we're okay. here at the show. Interesting. So com- nice. companion products. Yeah. So okay. you'll probably recall in... Um, uh, well, a couple of years ago, just when we did the JBL 75th anniversary, right, that we right. did that limited edition. That SA really pretty in integrated. Yeah, that yeah. really, really pretty integrated. Yeah. Beautiful product. And um, I was inspired from the design inspiration on that by the integrated amps that JBL made in the 1960s. And so mm-hmm. it kind of looked like that, had a similar front panel and some vintage looking switch gear on it. And that product was a successful product, of course, for us. And it really kind of then inspired us once again. It's like, well, if everybody likes the the retro theme on the loudspeakers, why not the electronics? And so here uh, we're introducing the SA550, which is an integrated amplifier that has also got our our G-class power amp capability in it, 90 watts a channel. It doesn't have a streaming engine built in, but it does have high-res Bluetooth capability in it. Okay. So you can connect your your phone, your tablet, whatever you want to have. So if you've got streaming audio on it, you can do it. And then of course it's got a funnel input and you know a, a full host of line level connections on it. Mm-hmm. And Makes that sense. is a cool piece. Uh, it looks pretty much a lot like a SA 750 dead. So it's very okay. much a, a retro design approach to it. And it's got nice. walnut side panels. Oh, wood. that's nice. Yeah. Oh, very Same nice. Is, is what we use on the loudspeakers. Oh, that's so, killer. Now, that's a great piece that really matches well with the L82 and the L52. Oh, bad, when you yeah. think about, you know, from a price point standpoint, too, the SA750 was a $3,300 integrated right. amplifier. And so from a price standpoint, that worked well with the L100s, mm-hmm. um, but it becomes a bit expensive to pair with mm, L82s yeah. or certainly L52s. So the SA550 is going to be a $2,000 product. So okay. that gets us down a uh, much lower price point for that. Oh, that makes and for a nice tidy little system. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. And then, of course, you need some source players to go with that. So we've got both analog and digital source players with it. So... The first one I'll tell you about is called the MP350 that's okay. being introduced here. And that is a standalone music player, if you will, ah, MP right. in the name. Okay. And it has the streaming engine that we have in the other products in it. So Chromecast AirPlay, that sort of connectivity with mm-hmm. high-res DAC built in. And so you can stream strictly, uh, directly from that box. Nice, and then nice. Physical media, of course. Uh, not only are we seeing growth in vinyl, but CDs now yeah. coming again. Yeah. Um, they're not I dead yet. <laughs> they are. No, they're not dead. Despite and, what some people say. <laughs> yeah. You keep saying, uh, yeah. you know, this is a, a fad. Vinyl's growing. Well, CDs growing now. Too. Us old I, fogies like our physical media. <laughs> well, it's not just the old fogies, right? So yeah. it is certainly the younger generation. You know, guys like us, yeah. where we grew up with physical media, and so there's certainly that romance there with it. But yeah. the younger generation that didn't have that experience has grown up with streaming and file sharing types of, of music listening experiences. And there's certainly the realization there that you don't own the content in that respect. And mm-hmm. you don't have the romance of, you know, what we have of 
you know, looking at the gatefold of a, of an album and reading the liner notes and or just having to sit there and listen and experience the whole thing from well, start it, to finish. Yeah. It's a ritual, right? Yeah, so yeah. we're going to take the album out. We're going to put it on the turntable. We're going to clean the records and then we're going to sit there and read the life. You're a geek like me that wants to know where was it recorded and who oh, played yeah, on yeah. it and what gear did they use? Totally. So, that experience is there uh, that a lot of these people are discovering for the first time. And I think that's where we're seeing some of that growth coming from, of course. So, Heck, man, both my kids have turntables. And I mean, like, if you told, if you'd asked me years ago if they would ever get into that, I, I would have said you're nuts. But you know, yeah, right. Yeah. There they are. I, they have albums, they have vinyl. <laughs> and it's same way. Uh, yeah, I, I've got a niece uh, in college and she wanted a turntable for Christmas a couple of years ago. We got her a turntable. So. <laughs> It's a disease. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, it's cool. You know, hey, it is cool. people listening to music. That's that's what I'm all about. So. That's uh, right there. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, with the growth in CDs, we've got a dedicated CD player as part mm -hmm. of the classic electronics range. So the CD 350 uh, mm -hmm. joins the product family and it is strictly a CD player, but very much nice. in a retro design aesthetic as the rest of the product. So it's got a walnut wood veneer side panels on it and the aluminum front panel mm -hmm. on it and uh so that's one of two uh sources that we have on the digital side okay but then on the analog side we're introducing a turntable as part of the classic series so very mm -hmm. much sticking okay. to the 70s retro theme mm -hmm. uh, so the tt350 is joining okay. the range and it's a beautiful product. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen one of the renders that it was uh, released in uh, one of I the have, images. For the I have seen base. one of the photos yep. float around. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Very pretty. So the whole uh, base, the, the plinth, the chassis, if you will, is walnut wood veneer. Mm -hmm. same wood it's mm. on the side panels of the electronics or the rest of the loudspeakers uh it's got this uh, aluminum front panel like the rest of them have with mm -hmm. a, very much uh, uh, a retro appearance to it and we're using the old jbl logo on the front of all these products too nice. and then okay. uh you've got a smoked dust cover on the top uh, to kind of complete the look of it and it very comes, cool you know with a an included cartridge moving magnet cartridge is included and you're mm -hmm. you're ready to go there so now nice. with that collection We've got three source players, a new integrated amp, uh, and we've got the way to put together a complete audio system that's the right, perfect top to bottom. for yeah. all of the passive loudspeakers. For sure. Very nice. And now, one question I do want to ask, uh, forgive me if I'm mistaken, but I think on, the, on that limited edition 750 integrated from a while back, I think that had room correction in it, correct? Um yeah, does, uh, this but, one does not. This doesn't. Uh, okay, that's what I want to no. make get, so, make sure I understood. Okay. Yep. So this yep. one still has a phono input on it. It's got a high res DAC built into it. Uh, but the difference between that and the 750, it's a little less power. So it's 90 watts instead of 120 watts. Mm -hmm. No direct rim correction on it. Gotcha. Uh, and no streaming engine built right. into it. Which you wouldn't need if you decide to get the uh, the, uh, the the oh. companion streaming unit. Yeah, you got the companion streaming unit. And, and, and if you put those two together, it's a little less than the price of a, of a SA750 anyways. Um, oh, so and the 550 golden. still has Bluetooth anyways. So right. you can still pair a mobile device and whatever to it and, and stream no, that you're, way. Yeah, you're covered. So that's yeah. good. That's very yep. good. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a, that sounds like a gorgeous little system. Oh my gosh, we can, we're it's, putting it all together. Yeah, very cool. And it looks great sitting here in the room. We've, we've got all, all of those products set up on a, a nice piece of walnut furniture and then flanked by oh. the 52s and the 82s. And I see. Mm -hmm. There's one more product that's in there with those. But there's as well. more. <laughs> but, but yet there's wait. more. <laughs> but wait. Ah, wait. If, you act, if you act now, I will also right. include. <laughs> For a small got, handling fee. <laughs> yeah. For three easy payments. We've got uh, the L10CS Classic Series subwoofer that's being introduced here. Mm, okay. And nice. this has come about uh, for a couple of reasons. I mean, of course, with the L75 MS music system, it has a sub out. And so if you were going to use that for video applications, you can put a sub with it. You've got a great right. 2.1 audio solution for your television. Mm -hmm. um, and now, when you think about the smaller passive loudspeakers that we have, the L52s, this is a great subwoofer pairing to go with those. Uh, mm -hmm. loudspeakers as well so nice. this is uh got also a 70s design aesthetic to it it's a down firing subwoofer in a real wood walnut veneer enclosure so mm. it's uh uh, uh an actually nice looking subwoofer you know a lot of subwoofers nice uh, that most 
loudspeaker companies make it looks like whatever series of other speakers that it came from and uh and so a black they, box necessarily uh, yeah well, sometimes they are but usually they're not right because right, usually right. they've got a front firing driver and some other things on them so this becomes with a down firing driver of, of just a very nice wooden enclosure that sits in the room nice mm -hmm. walnut natural walnut wood veneer on it uh but it's a 10 inch white cone driver so it matches the classic series from ah, and uh a 250 watt uh continuous and 500 watt peak amplifier in it basic features and connectivities on the back panel uh, mm -hmm. ports on the rear panel and uh not only do we offer it in the natural walnut but we will also offer it in a black walnuts mm, and okay. we've done mm -hmm. that so that first of all it's a nice looking snowboofer mm -hmm. uh, it could be placed anywhere you want in a room and a black version would kind of match about anything right. but it is the same wood veneer that we're using on the studio monitor series so now mm. this subwoofer could be a add-on to a 4305p nice. uh, powered studio monitor pair or it could work with the 4309s the passive studio monitors it could work with those as well or nice. just really anything any particular application that you needed a, a good little subwoofer for very nice very very nice wow oh that sounds incredibly cool that's awesome man wow it's a good it's a good one yeah yeah it's very a good nice. one so that's five new products from the classic series plus the studio mm -hmm. monitor speaker that i uh explained a few minutes ago mm -hmm. uh one more that has certainly uh, generated a lot of buzz here Mm -hmm. uh, back to turntables. So for mm. final again. So we are okay. introducing the JBL Spinner BT. Ah, as okay. The, uh, as the name implies, it is a Bluetooth turntable. Okay. And as we're talking about price points, this is a considerably lower price point than the uh, TT350 that we talked about. That's a thousand dollar turntable. This is okay, a gotcha. three. Yeah, this is a three ninety nine turntable. Okay. And okay. it's plug and play, ready to go. It's got a phono preamp built into it. It's got high res Bluetooth capability in it, mm -hmm. and it's got an included uh, phono cartridge ready to go. So take it out of the box, pair it up to whatever you want. Nice. And you're off to listening to vinyl. Straight and arm or an S arm? It is a straight arm on okay. this one. Yeah. And uh, auto stop start features on it. So when you pull the arm over, you know, the platter starts going. It's a belt drive, uh, mm -hmm. aluminum platter on it. Nice. And it's got a design on it that really matches. Uh, I'm, I'm staring over the camera here at our portable section uh, on the way out there. So if you think about the JBL Charge or a Boombox or any of those types of products, right. over there, the portable Bluetooth speakers, it, mm -hmm. it compared to any of those. It compared, okay. if I look over the other direction, to our headphones over there, it compared to any JBL Bluetooth headphones, any Bluetooth headphones. Then wow. I so basically like a self-contained yeah. like a self-contained little music generator basically yeah and then uh, you know uh, jbl we've got an amazing line of party box speakers which are mm -hmm. you know those with the wireless bluetooth speakers with the light shows in them and uh like a couple of you were behind you with the little lisp lights going well, up. Uh, yeah so <laughs> what you're seeing behind me and what i've created there is uh one of the spinner bts we've taken that and we've connected it to the smallest party box which is a model they call the uh, encore essential okay and and the cool thing about those is you can take it's a it's a 299 bluetooth speaker and you can take them and pair them together and mm -hmm. make a left right stereo pair out of them oh. so what you're seeing uh, the spinning <laughs> lights that are behind me is <laughs> two of them paired up as a left right stereo system and then we've oh, got the spinner wow. bt which you may or may not be able to see if i uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah there it is <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh so Don't that's one of the, the lights <laughs> yeah go to the light carolyn it's uh, 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 one of the Bluetooth turntables paired up to those. And so, you know, $299 for, for each of those, $399 wow. for the turntables, some thousand dollar. It's a pretty cool hi fi system. Yeah, I'll say. Uh, and you got the light show to go with it. And those things are portable, right? So then when you're done, you take that thing into the backyard with you and listen to some music out in the backyard in the garden yeah. or on the patio. While you're or, grilling or something or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. And of course, you could still have your turntable connected to that. Uh, the range on the turntable is pretty incredible. So, uh, you know, most houses, you're going to be able to let the turntable play, and uh -huh. you, then you can take the Bluetooth speakers out back outside, and still be yeah. listening to vinyl when you're outside. So, it's, uh, oh man, yeah. quick, Johnny, run back in the records over and flip it over. <laughs> yeah, go to side B, right? Side now, come yeah. on, <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, uh, so it's just something cool, you know, that same thing. You know, you think about how many people are using sound bars at home, that's their music system. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you can connect this turntable to your soundbar, 
and it, maybe your sound bar is over underneath the TV, mm-hmm. but your turntables needs to be off on the side of the room or something like that. So oh, man. it's wireless. It's connected Bluetooth. So you put it wherever you want it and still play it through your sound bar and listen to vinyl. That's that's cool. That's that's very cool. I mean, you know, I'm sure I'm sure there are some people out there, some vinyl people out there going, oh, my gosh, digitized vinyl. Sacrilege. <laughs> but it's like <laughs> That's just that's that's just like that's convenient as hell. That's awesome. That's well, that's awesome. the thing, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's the best of both worlds in that respect. So you're getting the the, the cool retro feel of vinyl, the great sound of vinyl. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, it's uh, of course wireless and digitized, if you will, on that. But we've done it with high res Bluetooth. So uh, this I know you can't tell from here, but uh, mm-hmm. listening to this system, it sounds shockingly good. And, and that was one of the reasons we, we connected it this way. People are like, eh, you know, and then we've done a demo for them. They're like, wow, that actually sounds really good. Oh man. They're like, That's... well, you wouldn't put a, a, a high res uh, Bluetooth connection with it and, uh, a nice quality turntable up front on it. Well, I imagine, a good little system. I, I imagine it must sound good. Otherwise you guys wouldn't have done it. So there you go. We wouldn't have done it. Uh, yeah, we certainly have a if it doesn't sound good we're not going to do it policy around here so. <laughs> i would hope so yeah <laughs> oh yep. man no that's that's very very cool so i mean obviously i mean i i know some there there's I, you hear talk these days about you know where the industry is going and stuff and what the trends are going to be and you know I, i've heard from a few people who who seem convinced that um hi-fi is going the way of smaller um, numbers of purchases, but of bigger, uh, higher dollar items, basically. Um, but it sounds like you guys are, you guys seem to think that the, the average consumer or the slightly above average consumer, I guess, it, there's still plenty of like, you know, purchasing bandwidth there for people to, to enjoy good, go out and buy some, you know, good stereo, good stereo equipment. Well, I, I think when you just look at the breadth of what we do, certainly within luxury audio, but all of Harman and the JBL brand in particular, we cover you from every price point. Yeah, so yeah. no matter where you're at, where you want to go, how you want to listen, we've got a product that will suit the needs and and it all adheres to the same science and engineering philosophies and you're going to get a great sounding product. You're going to get great features and connectivity, ease of use, reliability, sustainability. It's found mm-hmm. all throughout the range. So, you know, it's, it's really, we just love music, right? If you want to listen to music, that's really what it's about. We can cover you from portables. We can cover you to, you know, integrated audio throughout your house. Mm-hmm. You can do high-end two-channel systems. There's a, we got a whole nine little, yards. little something for everyone here. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Oh, Jim, this is fantastic. It did, did. Have we covered everything, or is there any any, any more surprises or any? Uh... Hey, well, we've covered that. That's seven new products that we have. And again, just a quick recap: the forty three twenty nine P studio monitor. Uh, mm-hmm. That's the first one, the big brother of the forty three hundred five P. We've got the new range of classic electronics. The four models there: the integrated, the CD, yep. the streamer, and the turntable. We've got the classic series subwoofer, and we've got the JBL Spinner VT. So, uh, yeah, those are the new things here. Um, we've got uh, something I know you saw back at Cedia. When mm-hmm. we introduced it was we announced the JBL Classic Black Editions, and those right. are limited production versions of the passive loudspeakers and the L75. And mm-hmm. we've got those here. Those have gone into production now. And uh, we've got the full display here with all four models on them. That's, nice. you know, people love that. It's uh, It really changes the look of the speaker when you dress it up with the high gloss black paint and finish and the, the custom black grills with the gold logos on them. It just looks like a different product, but it's still the same great sound that we have out of the normal classic series loudspeakers. And we did a second one duplicated over here where we're using a, one of the black editions of the L75 NS where the TV mm-hmm. is, uh, you know, uh, the next step up from the soundbar, if you will. So our nice. performance audio from that and a certainly beautiful aesthetic and design to the product. And so we're showing that uh, with some movie clips over here, with Samsung television, of course. And uh, course, showing people how that uh, works really well is a, is a great little system. Very nice. Very nice. Well, it sure looks like you got plenty of traffic going through there. <laughs> number, of, number of bodies <laughs> going back and forth and like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? I know. I see all the uh, people walking around me and they're like, why is this guy talking to a camera? Why is this man wearing headphones? <laughs> Just <laughs> ignoring us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, but uh, uh, Jim, this this is uh, this is great, man. This is this has been absolutely fantastic. I, I 
it sounds like you guys are going to have a heck of a are having a heck of a show and uh and uh all all seems well and good in the harmon in the harmon world indeed yep sorry you couldn't be here with us to see it in person but i'm glad we had a chance to do this and yeah share no. some of the new information with all the, the viewers out there seriously i really appreciate you guys i mean like i said making the time to to do this because you know i don't think from either end we knew if this was going to work or not so right. uh, so yep. you yeah, know this this is this is awesome thank you thank you so much for the time i really do appreciate it no no problem the magic of technology right so it's a beautiful <laughs> thing <laughs> it is <laughs> awesome well jim All thank right. you thank you so much again man and uh, you know have a great rest of the show and um you know until the next time sir all right thanks so much happy new year to you happy new year to you too take it easy Good. 